Why are we even having this debate? Well, a few reasons, really, but firstly, my free is peach. But more crucially, there are three reasons why rejecting Shamima Begum is actually a really bad idea. One, it's illegal to make people stateless under international law. This is to protect your rights so that the government can't strip all of your rights away because your rights are tied to your citizenship. Two, she should be held here anyway because here we can have a proper trial for her, extract knowledge about ISIS from her, and Theresa May can run away and leave her in charge of negotiating Brexit. And three, under UK law, she was groomed at the age of 15 by an adult then she was raped and then made into a child bride. If this didn't damage her mentally, then the airstrike certainly will have. So we shouldn't take what she says, and she's said some dodgy stuff, at face value. But that hasn't stopped people from criticising Shamima Begum, particularly people who can't pronounce Shamima Begum correctly. Shamina Begum. Shamina Begum. Shamina Begum. Lovely British name. Shamina Begum. Shamina Begum. Shamina Begum. And who constantly seem to be whinging about the way the law, you know, works. I don't care what dreary humanitarian refugee specialist is saying on Radio 4 that you have every legal right to return. No, you don't. We don't want you here. Psst, Katie. Katie, that, that's not how the law works. It, it's not based on how popular you are. And... That's kind of a good thing for you, because otherwise you'd probably be behind bars, so maybe don't promote that. It's not a good idea. So no, you won't be coming home, and meanwhile a great deal of us are looking for some shits to give. Just so you know, I plan on stealing this. Meanwhile a great deal of us are looking for some shits to give. And responding to all of Katie Hopkins' future tweets with it. And then there were some alternative facts. And it takes five minutes to research. Her dad is a jihadi! Her dad went to Lee Rig hung around with Lee Rigby's killer. Her dad burned American flags outside the embassy whilst cheering death to the West. Nope, that was Amira Abbas's dad, who was one of the other two ISIS brides. Well, he wasn't one of the ISIS brides. His daughter was one of the... You get the picture. That five minutes of research didn't do you much good, did it, Tommy? And then there were some interesting suggestions. Even by prosecuting them and putting them in jail, that doesn't solve anything. They recruit more. We need military prisons. Do you mean like a special prison where they keep people who are enemies of the state? I'm sure there's like a name for that. I just, I just can't think what... What do they call those? Oh yeah, but I'm sure that has really bad connotations. Like, I'm, I'm sure that that was promoted by somebody called... Um, damn it, what was his name? Really can't remember. Oh yeah. Hitler! So let's not go down the road of punishment without trial, concentration camps and stripping people of their rights. All to be angry at some girl who's called... Oh, God. What was her name again? What's her name? Shamina Begum. Shamina Begum. Shamina Begum.